Morehouse College would admit transgender male students in 2020, but the policy excludes trans women. Now, before I read this article, and I'm only going to read a portion of this article, and I'm not going to be long on this article because I have countless number of videos on the gay agenda. And I've been speaking on this for years now. And you had black people in the past that told me, that attacked me, and said that there's no agenda. But anyway, this makes no sense to me because They admit transgender male students in 2020, but the policy excludes trans women. So then they're allowing females that identify as men, but they don't allow men that identify as female, although they were born men. And although these so-called trans males were born female, so these so-called trans males still have their vagina. They still have their vagina. Now, just because they identify as trans males don't mean that their body don't crave for a man's penis. Just like you have so-called trans females that still have sex with women. So they're confused. They don't know if they are male or female. So they refer to themselves as bisexual. So I would not doubt it that a lot of these so-called trans males that will start attending this this all male college won't come up pregnant unless of course they went through the steps to prevent themselves from getting pregnant so I'm gonna read a portion of this article Morehouse is missing a crucial opportunity to become more inclusive by purposefully excluding trans female students. Tatiana Raphael, a current student who identifies as a transsexual woman, told BuzzFeed News. Now this is the dude right there that's identifying as a female. Morehouse graduate Jamal Lewis returns for homecoming from a 2015 BuzzFeed news feature. Morehouse College, the only all-male historical, historically black college in the U.S. announced that it would begin admitting transgender men next year. In a new policy that the college board and trustees approved on Saturday, while non-binary and gender non-conforming students will be eligible for admission. Trans women will not be, and students who transition or begin to self-identify as female during their tenure at Morehouse will not be eligible to receive a degree from the college. Once admitted to the college, all students are expected to self-identify as men throughout their education at Morehouse, the new policy states. And in, in fact about the policy, the school confirmed that the non-binary and gender non-conforming students are also eligible for admission. We are a place that's been around for the last 152 years, doing nothing but educating the minds of young men, 
although they're now welcoming females that identify as being a man. And we are not stopping that now. Terrence Dixon, Morehouse Vice President for Enrollment Management, told BuzzFeed News in an interview. We've never shied away from social issues. And it's a time for us to be the leaders that we are to address gender identity in our rapidly changing world. Morehouse in Atlanta, Georgia is a college with a rich history and distinguished alumni, among them Spike Lee, Samuel Jackson, and Martin Luther King Jr. Its president, David Thomas, refers to it as the West Point of Black Male Development. It says the college announcement is the latest in the trend of single gender schools revisiting admission policies for transgender students. Mills College in Oakland, California, was the first women's college to admit transgender women in 2014. Spelman College, the all-female HBCU that shares in affiliation with Morehouse, adopted a new gender identity policy for students in 2017. And the first transgender woman graduated in 2018. But the road to college re reversing their positions on admission policies for trans students has really been smooth. Smith College in Massachusetts drew national attention and spark student protests when it's refused to admit transgender women in 2013 before finally agreeing to admit transgender women in 2015. Among all male schools, Morehouse is the first in the country to adopt a transgender policy. Still, some students and alumni say the school's policy is not as progressive as it looks. Now, I'm going to read this Twitter and then you guys can go back and read the rest of this. That's a dude right here that they call Taniana, right? But you can go down and you can read this article. I'm going to put the link on the bottom and you can go check it out for yourself. Ramon says, I encourage y'all to read Morehouse's new trans policy carefully. This ain't it. Now, if this person is a former student of Morehouse. He graduated, but he's using incorrect grammar on Twitter. Now we all do that, but you're representing an all black college, an all black male college, and you're speaking improper in this Twitter. I encourage y'all to read Morehouse's new trans policy carefully this ain't it. Any student who transitions from M to F or begins to self-identify as a woman slash Femi while at Morehouse will no longer be eligible to matriculate at Morehouse College. So I'm gonna put this thing on the bottom and you guys can check it out for yourself. But this is the way of the world. Black people, and I've said this in the past, have become the face of transgenderism, have become the face of homosexuality and lesbianism, have become the lab rats of everything negative in this country. Men are not being men, women are not being women. And when these men that identify as females and these females that identify as men, because they're confused and they come together, they create androgynous demons. So I'm gonna put the link on the bottom. You guys feedback, tell me what you think. But this is a setup to create androgynous demons because now they're allowing females 
that identify as men to now become a part of this all men college just because this female identifies as a man she's now allowed to go to this all male college which we all know that there are certain men in there in these all male colleges that are gay that's going to get with these females that identify as men because you still have two so-called men being attracted to each other so they will get together they will have sex and I would not doubt it if these females that identify as men end up pregnant so feedback tell me what you think subscribe until next time, I'm fearless.